Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. When we last left off, we were about to head down, down here, after having quite the battle in the warehouse. Now, this bit, we're going to go fight a boss. The trouble with this boss is he is absolute grade A bullshit. Now... I have found a bit of a sneaky way of dealing with him. But, and we are going to do that because we're going to need to do that. Uh, call it a cheap uh, or an exploit or something. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you fighting the boss legit. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to kind of need to do to survive. Anyway. Don't like this boss. Uh, I've also discovered what's going on with this Xbox. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like some of the capacitors are dying on the Xbox uh, on the power supply, I believe, which is why we're getting some weird artifacting and all that stuff. So that will have to be addressed. Oh my, look at this thing. Now, as you can see, as soon as that cutscene finishes, we automatically get hit there's nothing we can do about it it's just out of our hands so we're gonna weaken his feet or his weird leg things as much as we possibly can now if we stay here in the back we can avoid his attacks more or less kind of and we're gonna have to be really jank with it like this because trying to aim at his extremities is not easy. There we go. How are we doing? Anything left to hit? Maybe that a little bit? There we go. Now that happens, we can aim at his head. Now, the trouble with this is as soon as we do that, yep. Uh, tendrils will appear by that open door or by that open uh, vent. This boss, like, I literally had to look this up, like, how to defeat it. And even the guide was like, yeah, this boss is complete and utter bullshit. So, okay. So what we've got to do, we've got to shoot him in the feet. And then... We've got to kind of shoot him in the head. And then once everything is on dead red health, we have to use fire. Standard, right? Uh, now, unfortunately, our friend is going to stay behind. One of the biggest problems is that he gets a free hit on you straight away after the cutscene. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's really bad game design, but okay. Um, so... Once we actually get to the point where we can start setting fire to him, things get a little bit more insane. Gee, Titan, what do you mean by that? Well, we're going to start getting tentacles coming out from everywhere, as we've just seen, and we're going to get the little head crab things spawning in. Uh, yeah, the, this thing is tough. Okay. Now... I did a little bit of a sneak there. I actually avoided the attack. How would you do that? Well, dear viewer, you have to hold the left um, analog stick to the left during the whole cutscene. And if you do that, by the time the cutscene finishes, you'll be slightly further back. But that's the only way to avoid that bit of nastiness. So we actually need to hit that box there and repair it. Now you can just repair the box and run away from him, which is kind of a legitimate strategy here. All of this here is destructible. And behind that, there is a annoying enemy spawner. So I am wondering if we can take care of that now. Not sure. Now, in one of these, there is... We've literally got two rounds. 
Yeah, there's an incendiary grenade there. Because the next bit we have to actually... Ooh, that hurt. The next bit we actually have to deal with, um, next part of the game, is really quite hard. So let's see if we can... Think that... Right, he's... Right, that toe is now lost. Let's see if we can't keep chipping away at this one. I think that's good. Yeah, this is just like a bit of an odd transition because the game's been pretty good up until this point. And then all of a sudden, um, all the mechanics just stop working. And I don't know why we can't move in this corner. The actual movement for this room is interesting, but not a good interesting. And we are also... We, yeah, we do have a nasty problem. Right. Okay, he's actually distracted. Okay, that's actually being beneficial to us. Ooh. Oh. There we go. That's fun. Right, that's the bug spawner destroyed which is going to save us a little bit of trouble. So there's going to be a tentacles that burst through there, and there's tentacles that burst through there. Uh, oof. Okay. Let's see if we can... There we go. Tentacles are going to burst through now. All right. As you can see, tentacles... Now, we are massively running out of ammo here, which is another problem. Now, these things, I believe, regen. I think. Not 100% sure. We're learning here. Right. Take that, you... Come on. Sorry, sack of shit. I'm semi-tempted. Right, okay. Those are actually... Are they defeated? I don't know. Right. Okay. Let's get to the next section of this boss. Now. We're kind of... I don't want to say in a good position here, but... We're out of range there. Oh, okay, that's bad. We really don't want to be setting ourselves on fire here. <sighs> okay, okay, let's wait for the fire to burn out. And then we're going to circle around him and give him a good dose. But hopefully we're not going to get attacked too much. Right, how's that? Is that kind of what we're looking for? No, the tentacles are back. Okay, he's dead. He's actually dead. We can't actually go back either. Right, that boss, man. I I can't even tell you like how many times I tried to defeat him. Oh, okay. I cannot believe how well that worked. How much health have we got? Oh my god, we're going into the next area with four health kits. Okay, guys... I got to this point, and I've played this so many times now, this bit, and I'm like, I, I don't know how to how to get past it. I don't know why he derped out and started attacking the other thing. We, we got incredibly lucky there. Whew. We still got half health, which is good. Excellent. Now, if everything goes to plan, search the submersible. Okay. If everything here goes to plan, we've got prep labs... And all that lot. We're going to be having a somewhat good time. Kind of glad I got to demonstrate the boss the proper way, though. Right, okay. Head crabs. There's a lot of head crabs around here, guys. And they're going to pop out of these little vents. But luckily, with these little vents, we can just shoot them closed. I'm pretty sure when we get close to that body. Yep. Come on. Oof. Okay. 
All right. We good? Oh, there's still more. There's still more. All right. I think that body is dry. Whew. Cool. Let's open the door and peek in. Now, in here, we can find a barrel. Now, this barrel is going to open a nice little bonus room for us. Which, believe me, we're going to be wanting this bonus room. Now, we're going to take hold. So, basically, the first few times I actually defeated that boss, I used all my med kits, I used everything, and I had the tiniest, tiniest slither of health. And I couldn't get past this fire. Because every time I walked into this room, I would just take the tiniest bit of damage, and I'd be dead. Now, I don't know why the game shows us that over there. Because, to my knowledge, we can't do anything with the corner. Now, this fire is really iffy to put out as well. Uh, I, the rest of the fire in the game seems fairly easy to deal with. But for some reason, I have discovered that the hit detection on the fire in this particular room is really wonky. I don't know why. So let's see if there's anything we can actually do here. Okay, I don't think so. I don't know why the game shows us that then. But these two small little fires here, we just don't appear to be able to put those out. And the amount of times I killed myself walking into those, trying to get a little bit closer to put them out, but to no no resolution, at least no decent resolution. Okay, precious ammunition, another fire extinguisher, some fuel, and a med kit. Yeah, that med kit had, to, that med kit there, yeah, that had to do a lot of heavy lifting. Let me tell you. Anyway, let's switch up to the shotgun and get going. Oof, so our first save room. Now, great thing about this save room is it has nothing in it. Yeah. Literally has nothing in it. So we're going to drop down a save and hope for the best here. This might be a shorter video just because I don't have a huge amount of time today. But anyway, let's have a look. Research update. We've taken a number of research specimens and are running tests on them. The most interesting of which is taking place in the growth chambers, access code 7291, where the dead specimens have responded to the treatments and are showing results of up to 400% cell growth. The next stage is to attempt to reanimate uh, the reanimation of cells. Dr. Sean Faraday, research director. Hmm, Faraday. So now we've got to go find him. Seems like he probably knows what's going on around here. Well, that's curious. We've got a rather large walker locked up. There's the prep labs and all that we saw before. That room is on fire. That's not great, to be honest. We don't like rooms that are on fire. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess there was a scientist there. There's another walker next to a switch. That one's dead. Okay, and that's just that walker there. Curious. Now, trying to take out a walker... Let's bust open the growth chamber. When you have literally a slither of health is a lot harder than you would think it would be basically. Um, and most of the time, even if you can take it out, uh, y you know, down to dead red health, you're going to kill yourself with the flamethrower, which is not great. All right, we've got the code for that. Let's go to the growth chamber, which is as fun as it sounds, to be honest. I'm going to keep that shotgun very, very tight and those med kits too. All right. Oh, that guy's headless. And now we encounter a new enemy in the growth chamber. Now, worth knowing with these new enemies, they're basically just the head crabs, but a little bit bigger. 
they have the same sort of HP, they still die with one shot. In fact, I would wager that they go down a bit easier because they're larger, they're harder to miss. If we come over here, there is some um, assault rifle ammo, but we're not going to worry too much about that. Oh, we can hear something large trudging around in the growth chamber. Yes, well, no matter. We're going to meet that thing in a minute. I love the sound of them when they melt. Ooh, looks like we actually have some kind of containment cages here. They've obviously been broken out of. Ooh! Get the fuck out of here. I do, there's something about the way they just bubble and gurge up. Just, I don't know, I just really like it. Okay, now we've got a bit of a problem. We've got a big dick to put down. Now, it's where he is located. Nope. Ooh, health. We're stuck. We're literally... Okay, I was... Yep, I was stuck in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that happens. Now, this is one thing that is bad when you die. When you die... There's no load last save or last checkpoint or anything like that. The only thing you have is to go back to the main menu or restart the entire level. This is really bad game design. Um, you know, it doesn't take too long to exit out and reload. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll meet you guys back here. Not sure what's going on. That's once in the boss fight and once there that we actually got stuck in the geometry of the level. Curious. Anyway, one second. Once more we're feeling, huh? Let's try to not get completely stuck this time. Whoop! Okay, right you stinky motherfucker. Now we do want to switch back up to the shotgun. Because once he finally burns out, he will release more of those gribbly bastards. However, I don't think he's quite done. Maybe he needs another dose of the good stuff. Oh, he actually hit me as well. That's not great. Come get your medicine, kids. One shell at a time. We still got five med kits. Not actually too bad. Right, suck that down, you overgrown turd. Cool. Alright, I can't believe that happened as smoothly as it actually did, but we'll take it. Oof, hydraulic override. So now we can repair the button. Which is good, because now we can open another door with more gribbly bastards inside. Excellent. But this time we have a shotgun and med kits. So, fingers crossed, we are on the up and up here. However... Something else has been waiting for us in the shadowy dark. So we're going to roast that sack of shit before he gets too many excited ideas. He's still not dead. All right, come to Papa. Come on. Where are you hiding? Stop being a bitch. And face me. Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. Well played. Ooh. Son of a bitch. Right. Let's go hunt down this giant turd. Before he gets any... T any sneaky ideas of creeping up behind us. Like a pervert in the park. We know. I think... There's at least one more creeping around somewhere. All right, well, whatever. Let's go save the game. Because somehow that actually went somewhat smoothly, apparently. I'm not really sure how or why that went so smoothly, but we'll take it. Now we can open all of these doors. 
Unfortunately, that door is going to let out a load of fire. And a gribbly bastard. Cool. Actually, we'll save it after we've opened the doors, just in case anything funky happens. We certainly don't want any funny business. Not if we can help it. So, we know there's another large mutant. A walker. And he is around here. Evening. The fire has apparently gone out, which is curious. There you are. There you are. Stay in your hole. Oh, God, we're actually in the room full of fire. That is not the room we want to be inside, if I'm honest. Kind of lost a lot of health there, where we really could have done without losing that. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we've got a blood testing kit and a weapon. At least I think that was a weapon. I'm not 100% sure what that was that we just picked up. Right, let's go have a peek in here. And we have some fuel. Luckily, nothing survived this room. Yep, got some fuel, two canisters. Ah, we also have the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is an interesting weapon. Um, the grenade launcher will fire any of the grenades that we have in our inventory. So it's an interesting one. Not going to worry about it too much. Oof. Something was in that jar that exploded. We ain't going to worry about it now, though. Anything else going on? No, it looks like we're clear. Excellent. Let's get out of here. And that is the end of that short little stint. But we will continue until we get to the next save point, I think. And one second. I think Gabby's back. Right, through this door, ladies and gentlemen, it can only be described as flavor country. Yep, Gabby's back. One second, guys. Okay, so through this door is absolute flavor country. Oop. Now, I think the best thing we can do here is start off strong with a shotgun. Oop. Here we go, here we go. And we've got two big boys. That's not a great start. Now there is somewhat unlimited medikits in this room. Ow. Which is nice. And we're going to need those. Oof. God. Okay. Let's start getting the flames out. If we can roast one of them, hopefully, we get the other one. Yep. Okay. That's both the big guys down. Whew. That's stressful. That's stressful. Ooh. Nice. He's done. Just the head crabs. And it's the spitters that you want to try and prioritize. Because they will... Oh, hello. Didn't realize there was another one there. Because if they tag you and slow you down, you're going to have a bad time. Right. Whew. Area secure, eh? Sounds like we've found a friend. Now, I don't know how many medikits are in that pack. But from what I've, what I've discovered so far, there seems to be pretty much unlimited. Jeez, right, so we've got another tester vial. We have, and I think that's about it in here. Oof. You right there, Chief? Yes. Oh. Yeah, okay, well, we'll worry about one thing at a time, my friend. So, what are these? I forget what these are actually called. Um, oh, fl 
No, they're not flame grenades. Oh, stun grenades. I don't know how useful a stun grenade is, but I'm sure we can find out. Right, you are not going to trust me, are you? So we will give you... What can we give you? We don't have much to... G oh, we have got a pistol, I suppose. We'll give him a pistol. We've got a sh spare shotgun he can have, but we don't really have like any spare ammo for it, which is problem you trust me you don't trust me you do trust me so follow follow along he is a engineer so he should how much health does he have it's full-on health as well trust is a little bit low but that's fine right buddy if you could work your engineer magic on that door that would be muchly appreciated. Now that one will go down there in a minute. What's through here? Ammunition and a shotgun. Wonderbar. Right, let's get loaded and shotgun shells. And there's also SMG ammo, which might not be a terrible thing to give him. We have some flame grenades now. Uh, we could. Okay. All right, you're going to follow me. We no. There we go. This system is a little bit fiddly sometimes. Um, I don't have a spare SMG. I guess I could give him a shotgun. What's wrong with you? Uh, what's wrong with me? I'm going to give you a better weapon marginally better anyway there we go the only trouble with giving the npcs shotguns is well they're a little bit free and easy uh <laughs> with the ammo it doesn't go very far but that's okay anyway one door left oh it's like we've got the gribbly ones here dude if you could watch my ass or you know i guess maybe not thank you um that's also cool right follow me okay. yeah it seems like if they get too far away from you or something they just stop following you i'm not really sure the exact science behind it but it is a little bit frustrating now Let's have a little look around here. So we've got some CCTV. We've got a hell of a control room here with lots of buttons, but we do have a little save room which we're gonna take advantage of. So, test subject B4 has shown subtle resilience to flames weaponry. This leads me to believe that alien entities uh, DNA structure can be altered to become resilient to certain forms of flame attack. Test subject B4 is currently held in chamber 3. Yeah, that's not good, to be honest with you. Um, having one of these things that can't be burnt to death and finished off. Yeah, probably going to have a bad time with that, to be honest. Uh, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, for now, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come in, when we come in, or should we say when we come back, we're going to possibly bump into this new curiosity. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to have the best time of our lives dealing with it. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.